Welcome everyone to another Khan Academy tutorial. Today we're doing a geometric concept called reflections. So this exercise is called determine reflections. Let's get started. Draw the line of reflection that reflects ABC onto A prime, B prime, C prime. So as you can see here, it's the blue one. That's the original shape. Okay, this one right here. And then it reflects onto the red one right here. So I tried to outline it so you could see. Um, now, what we have to do is we have to draw this line so that it reflects. So essentially what we need to do is we need to see uh, a line that is equidistant from both vertices of each corresponding vertex, okay? So for example, A to A prime, we're looking for the midpoint between that. One thing about lines of reflection, if I draw this here, is that a line of reflection will split this distance in two, so that those are equidistant, and then it's also perpendicular to the straight path between those. So that needs to be perpendicular, and as you can see here, if I were to draw this over here for B to B prime, this would need to be um, equidistant and also perpendicular. So, I mean, we can easily find it. We just have to essentially find the midpoint between A and A prime, and also between B and B prime. So let me go back to my drawing board, actually. So I'm gonna erase this. Okay, and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna find the midpoint. Now, you can find the midpoint a couple different ways. You could find the coordinates of these two shapes. Call this one x1, uh, y1, and call this one x2, y2. So that would be negative uh, seven comma negative six, and then this would be one comma negative six. And then you could plug that into the midpoint formula, which just says you add the x coordinates together, divide by two, and you add the y coordinates together and divide by two. When you do that, I think you're gonna get negative six for y, and then you are going to get negative seven plus one is six, you're gonna get negative three for x. So negative three comma negative six. Now when we do the same thing for up here with the a's, we're gonna get that the point is right there. And essentially once you find the two midpoints, so that midpoint was negative three comma five, this was negative three comma negative six. Essentially you just connect the two midpoints that you found and then that's your line of reflection. Okay, now this one's, uh, we could essentially just do this based on looks. Now if you don't wanna find the midpoint, you can just say, okay, I know the total distance is uh, eight between these two, so I'm just gonna count over four for one of the points. One, two, three, four, and that's another way to do it. The total distance between these two Bs is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I want just one, I can count over one, two, Sorry, one, two, three, four. I guess they're both eight, Never mind. <laughs> so this is eight, so I count over four, count over four, and that's my line of reflection. All right, next question. Okay, so I'm gonna use the, the easy method again. I, I don't recommend doing the uh, midpoint formula. So if I were to apply that again here, I'm gonna look at my A and A prime, my two corresponding vertices, and I'm count the distance between the two. One, sorry, one, two, three, four. So if I know the total distance in four, halfway is two. So I go one, two, and I know that is my midpoint. I'm gonna do the same thing for B. So I'm gonna go one, two, one, two, three, four. So two is my halfway point. So my line of reflection should look like that. Next question. Ooh, this is a weird shape. Oh, so we have two parallelograms or actually maybe trapezoids here. So I'm gonna look at my A to A prime, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go over two towards my other point, and that is right there. And then I can either do D or C, I can do any of them, but it's just gonna be right on here, halfway is two, and that's my line of reflection. Last one here, C to C prime. This is a four, a distance of four, so I'm gonna go up two. And if the B, and the B prime is on the same point, or A or A prime, whatever it is, if it's on the same point, you know the midpoint is just where that point is. So I'm gonna put it right on B, B prime, and that's my line of reflection. That's all there is to it. But I hope I give you a little shortcut that helps you with this in the future. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos on line of reflections or other geometric concepts. See you soon.